Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different and I'm so excited about it because basically last week I tried to film a clothing DIY video and from the get-go of me pressing record it just went so wrong and yeah the clothes were going wrong and I don't know it just wasn't really a nice video to film so I didn't even end up finishing filming that video and obviously I wasn't going to post it if I didn't feel like it was the true me so yeah that was a little bit of a downer and I was a bit sad after that and didn't really feel like recording for a few days but yes we're back now and I'm going to have a nice chill day I'm excited to show you the thing Things that I'm going to be doing today and yeah let's get straight in so I'm not sure what I'm actually going to call this video but I'm basically going to be trying to do a little vlog style for you all this is something that I've never actually done before so I'm so excited but uh, please forgive me if it's a bit rubbish obviously you know I'm quite new to YouTube and it's a bit nerve-wracking not gonna lie so I've just been in the shower and got dressed I'm not wearing this today this is just because I'm gonna do a bit of skincare right now before I head out to Ikea I can't wait to go to Ikea my favorite part of Ikea isn't even when you're walking around all of the bedrooms and walking about all all the plants in the kitchens it's after you've chosen what you want and you go down the escalators at the end and it's like just like the massive warehouse of all the brown boxes obviously with all the furniture in and you like um take a note of what aisle it's in and what like unit and you go and collect it and you've got them big scooter things and you tend to just like run on the scooter thing and push it around like a five-year-old i'm so excited to do that again it's probably been nearly a year since i've been at ikea a year since i've been at ikea that is mad. I'm just going to get ready now and I'm going to show you my outfit and we're going to go to Ikea and we're just going to go from there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to buy yet, but whatever I do buy, then I'm going to show you what I buy and we're going to put it in my room and see what it looks like. So yeah, let's go. Okay, Google, what time is it? 10.14 a.m. Oh my god, I need to hurry. Right, let's go. So I've got this new face mask. I got it from Superdrug and it is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clear Blemish Rescue Mask. The one that's meant for blemish prone skin. I've also got the other two of the same Pure Clear collection. This one is the Purifying Mask and the Glow Mask. And honestly, I've had these for a few weeks now and I've used each one maybe three times. Absolutely love them. They just don't feel fragranced. They don't feel too harsh on my skin. I don't necessarily have sensitive skin, but it definitely does flare up if I use too many products on it i also thought this was a good chance to show you what face wash i'm using at the minute obviously i've just been in the shower so i can't show you me using that but i'm using this clinique facial no sorry clinique liquid facial soap oily skin formula basically my skin is really oily so i thought i'd give this one a try i only got it about five days ago i thought i'd give this a try so far so good and yeah i also use this um daily which is also a part of the l'oreal pure clay range this is the cleanse brighten and exfoliate um glow scrub so you use this twice a day and you just rub it around in little circles and it exfoliates your face and it feels so cute and so nice and leaves your skin glowing. Anyway, I'm thinking about doing like a full skincare routine because I'm one of those people that absolutely love to like change up the skincare routine every month. I don't know why, but recently I felt as if like, well, I felt it for a long time to be fair, but when I try a new face wash, like, it makes my skin more clear for a while. I feel like it's like my skin being like, whoa, like, what's going on, I'm not used to this. And the, my skin just kind of stops doing anything. It stops getting oily, it stops going dry, it stops producing spots. I mean, I have got a few blemishes at the minute, but hopefully these goodies will get rid of them. I tend to do like a full pamper night every week. And I always use different products just to try and give my skin something a little bit different rather than letting it get you into like too much of a regular routine. I feel like my skin, like a regular routine is perfect for most people. But with my skin, whenever I use the same product for so long, I don't know, it doesn't really seem to be effective anymore. So it's actually got a crack in it, but oh well, we'll forget that. I ordered this off ASOS, so it's probably the delivery man chucking it about again. I don't really want this intro to be so long because I'm probably going to film a lot in Ikea, so I'm just going to try and do this as quick as possible. I also just thought that um, doing a face mask gives me a bit of time to chat to you all and give you a little update on the situation with everything. Right, I'm sorry if I keep looking down, my mirror's on the floor because I have nowhere else to put it, so just ignore that. There's obviously a lot going on at the moment, especially when I'm filming this, there is, and there probably still will be when you're watching it. To be fair, I'm doing all right in quarantine. Like, it's definitely easing up now. Obviously, they've been announcing it every few weeks and 
you're now allowed to see friends like six people in your garden you're allowed to go places as long as you stay socially distant so yeah today i'm going to ikea with two of my friends and obviously we're going to stick to all of the social distancing rules i'm going to make sure that i stick to them because obviously it's important for everybody like I've also been quarantined for three months, so it would just be a waste to go and break them down for the sake of going to Ikea, so yeah. I also just wanted to address this quickly as I don't feel like it's right for me to go ahead with a video without even talking about it because it's something that has actually been on my mind a lot over this period of time and that is obviously everything to do with Black Lives Matter and George Floyd and all of the social media um, protests and awareness that's been circulating these past week or two. This whole situation with George Floyd and the other um, black people who devastatingly lost their lives to awful situations including police brutality and just racism in general. I just wanted to say that it's really taken this time to awaken myself and a lot of people to this issue. I feel like racism is obviously not anything that I've supported, it's not anything that I've thought was good. Obviously I've known that it was wrong from day one but it's also never something that I've learned a lot about and I think growing up obviously white and having mostly white friends, white family, you don't necessarily hear about these things, you don't have to experience any racism so you don't have to learn it through experience and obviously you don't learn much about it in school either. So I just want to say that it's really it's really awakened me to the issue. It's made me realise how much of a serious matter it is still in this world. I mean, we're in 2020. I think it's disgusting that it's still happening. Obviously, it's happened for so many decades and so many thousands of years. And it's, it's still a problem. Like, I don't understand how it's still a problem. I'm taking this time to really learn about my white privilege, learn about anti-racism, learn about racial bias in the UK because obviously I'm from the UK and everybody seems to think that this is only a massive problem in America but this happens a lot in the UK too. It's not necessarily just um, America's problem. For us to change we need to be more educated about it and my duty is now to learn as much as I can and talk to as many people as I can, spread how I feel and I just think if I hear any racist language I'm obviously going to tackle that and challenge it. I'm constantly spreading messages and creating boards on Instagram. I've also done a few videos all from my story about the situation and just like where my head's at at the minute. I just see a lot of people posting insensitive things and yeah I just think if you want more of an update of how i feel about it then definitely go over to my instagram because this is something that i'm definitely going to be voicing over on my social medias as much as possible yeah i'm actually really gonna have to hurry because the time is ticking so i need to get this face mask on and wait for it to dry yeah i'm never somebody to be late so i don't want to be that bitch today so yeah, I've got my face mask on now. I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes for it to fully dry and then I'll go and wash it off. And then we're gonna properly get ready. I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we'll head to Ikea and go from there. I got so much in my hands, but yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to dry, go wash it off and then get ready. And then I'll be back after that. Okay, that was probably the worst transition you have ever seen in your whole life. But anyway, we're gonna go with it. That face mask actually felt so nice. I don't wanna keep touching my face because obviously that's what helps towards blemishes. So I'm not gonna to touch it too much, but I can't actually stop touching it because it's made it feel so smooth. Okay, so before I show you my outfit, I just need to quickly pop some moisturizer on. So I'm using this clear, clean and clear dual action moisturizer. Just got a little blob on here. Just gonna rub it in. I've actually just shaved as well, so I need to rub into my neck just so I don't get razor rash or anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my outfit. I might as well show you these now since I'm all up close and personal, but these are just some super cute little Hello Kitty earrings that I made myself. Okay, so this is the outfit that I've decided to put on today. I've just got this gorgeous pearl necklace with a chain attached to it from ASOS and then this black cropped like half a zip jumper from the brand Monkey, and then some gorgeous tattoo patterned uh, regular styled jeans from Jaded London and my Converse All Star Run Hikes. 
I love this outfit. I obviously didn't want to go too casual to Ikea because being stuck in the house for three months, I might as well get dressed up for something. So yeah, I'll show you a little close up of the outfit because I'm aware this is a bit of a weird angle. So this is the pearl necklace. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I think it was literally like eight pound as well from ASOS. And I just think it's like obviously two necklaces in one, so perfect. Okay, I can't show you the full outfit because if you don't already know, my room is the smallest room in the world. It is literally like a square meter box. So I'm just gonna have to show you it properly later when I go to Ikea and I'll see if I can set my camera up to show you my outfit fully. But I'm sure you don't really care that much and I'm sure you can probably imagine what it looks like. But yeah, I think right now I'm just gonna have a little look at my room and see um, some of the stuff I might wanna buy from Ikea and see what I could fit in my room, so yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at these shelves and I think that they do look really cluttered. They're just like a box style wire shelf that I got from um, Amazon. But as you can see, everything's just kind of muddled up in it. And I think they'd look so much nicer with maybe some storage boxes from Ikea, maybe some clear ones so you can kind of see all the colors as well. But we'll go to Ikea and we'll see what they have. And then I think this is fine. I would love to get some more plants. This is my brother's plan. I'm not even using my own because um, I don't have any and this one's a bit too big for my desk. I think if I could get one similar that's a bit smaller That would be perfect. Yeah, the area above my bed is a bit dead So I think maybe some a shelf here or a shelf there Maybe even a shelf on both sides of the corner would be perfect to hang like plants and fairy lights from and stuff Just some things that would look nicer in the background of videos also just stuff to make my bedroom seem a bit more homely Yeah, I think everything else in my room is fine. So when we go to Ikea, I definitely look for storage boxes shelves plants and other little decorations i would love a little lamp over in the corner over there because my other one broke recently so yeah there's a few bits that i could be looking at and if anybody knows me i love to shop so there'll definitely be stuff that i end up deciding to get along the way and just choosing to throw in the basket and spending the money i shouldn't be spending but We'll deal with that when the time comes. So yeah, I'm gonna catch up with you all when I'm either at Ikea or on my way to Ikea, I don't know yet. Okay, I know I said I'd update you when I get to Ikea, but I'm actually getting a lift rather than getting the bus now. So I've got a bit of extra time and I'm looking at my eyebrows and the dye off them's like really faded now. So basically a couple of weeks ago, I shaved my head, dyed my hair and eyebrows blue. And the blue dye is like coming off my eyebrows now. I don't know if you can see. But a while ago when I was living in London for uni, I actually picked up a blue uh, mascara, which I was using in my eyebrows. And that was from Kiko. So I'm gonna try and find that now and give it a little go because the blue dye on my eyebrows is just non-existent. Where has it gone? My hair's blue, my eyebrows are not. This is literally what I'm dealing with. This is what I mean when I say that I don't have storage boxes or I have nowhere to store anything. It's so messy, so when I'm at Ikea, I'm gonna really try and find things that could maybe help this out. Or I might just sit and actually go through them because there's so many stuff even at the back that I don't even use. So maybe I could just clear some stuff out and create some space. But yeah, just this blue Kiko mascara and I'm gonna put it on now and tell you what I think. Okay, so this is what the eyebrows look like. They look so good to be fair. I forgot how vibrant this um, um, mascara was, but I haven't actually filled in the eyebrows. I've just coated the hairs with the product, so they're not even shapes, but where the hairs are is where the blue mascara is, so I can't really help with that. So yeah, I actually will just go now and update you when I'm in Ikea. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> I just came to Asda and meet my friend Jay. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, yeah. What? Don't get too close, two meters, gal. What are you eating? <laughs> what did you say? Have I dyed my hair? Mm -hmm. No, it's the same. Why right, our friend Jake's just said that he's decided to go to IKEA instead of meeting us at Asda. Nice one, Jake. So we're gonna go and walk to IKEA. It's literally just over there, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> Right, so at Ikea, Jay and Jake said that the queue was worse the other day when they came. I don't actually think it looks that bad, so we should be able to get in quite soon. But yeah, I'm excited. I love Ikea. I haven't been in so long. I can't wait. Okay, so we've been waiting in the queue for like half an hour and we're nearly there now.
Yay! We're finally in Ikea after waiting for like half an hour. But we're in now and I'm excited. I got my little yellow bag to put all my stuff in. <laughs> right, we've literally been in Ikea like not even a minute and I've already seen something I want. I want this. <laughs> Jay's laughing at us, I feel awkward. I want this, but I don't want it in blue. I love this like chunky knit type of blanket. But I don't want blue, I want it in like a grey and it's also £19, which I feel is a little bit much just for a blanket. But if I could get this in grey, I think I would actually consider buying it. Does anyone else understand the smell when you walk in Ikea and it just smells like something else? It smells unreal. It smells like a new pair of shoes or like a new car. I love it. What did you say, Jake? What did you say? I, I like it. <laughs> Jay's looking at chairs because she wants one for a room. Which one do you want to buy again? That black one? That one there. Nah, this one. This one's only 30 quid. That one's nice. It looks comfy as well. Every time I come through sections like this, I just want my own house. I literally just want my own house right now. So I've just found this little plant here and it's similar to the one I showed you that I have in my room now, which is actually my brother's. Um, but the only thing is it looks really fake and it's really big. So it wouldn't actually fit on my desk any better than the one that I have already. And also it's £40. Yeah, it's £40, which I think is quite expensive for a fake plant. But hopefully there's some better ones in the main plant section. What is he doing? Just listening. Just listening. <laughs> Right, so we're going to do Jake's little outfit of the day. What are you wearing, Jake? I'm wearing Alexander McQueen's. That absolutely disgusting. Unreal. Please. Collusion, I think, 20 quid. Collusion, love that. That bit of acne. Acne Studios, everyone. Everyone reps the Acne Your Studios tea. Acne Studios. Joby, uh, Jake comes to Ikea with his like six grand Cartier watch on, as you do. I'm going to rip it off and stamp on it. <laughs> Jake, do you want to do your outfit? Air Force, obviously Jay is absolutely obsessed with Air Force. Some Asda flares because she works at Asda and yeah. I really like this mirror. Look at it with the lights down here. To be fair, these lights are only £25. They'd be so good to have on you all. They're a nice colour as well. I quite like them. <laughs> so we're in like the bedding section. And I just saw the, um, wait, I'm going to quickly go back and show you it. I just saw the same uh, bed throw that I saw before in a pink colour, but obviously I don't want the pink colour either here. It's like the same bed throw in a pink colour. Obviously I don't want pink. I want it in like a grey or white. So if I could find it in that, then that would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> Honestly, I had this little mat when I used to do gymnastics. I'm gonna, no, I've literally got videos on my old Instagram. I bought this mat to put in the garden to do gymnastics on. Insert video of me as I was 13 doing gymnastics on this mat right here. And that's on being Oh. Little update on the plant situation. I've also seen this one, which is a bit smaller. It looks a little bit more realistic as well. And this one's only 25 pounds. So, £29, sorry. So, it's obviously a bit better than the £40 one. So, I think that could be an option. So, I'm going to take a picture of the name. I'm thinking about maybe getting this for the new possible shelf that I buy. There's going to be loads of different options later on in Ikea. But I don't know. I just think this is like a fiver. And it's so good. It looks quite real from a distance as well. Loving this little disco ball vibes. I feel like I'm in a classy little party. I think this would be so cute to have like... My laptop on and a little cup of tea in the corner while I'm editing and while I'm doing my uni work. Yeah, that's a cute little idea. I might get one of those. Yeah, I know I didn't have a space in my room to give you like a full outfit of the day. So I'm going to do that now. This is what it looks like with my puffer jacket on. Super cosy, but still quite dressy as well. Love it. Vibes. If you don't come through Ikea and feel every squishy toy that there is, then you're doing something wrong. This is when you know it's getting serious when Jay pulls out a massive trolley. Oh, 
I actually love this section of Ikea. It just makes me feel so tired and cozy. So cute. So we've just shopped all the way through Ikea and then now we're in the warehousey bit looking to find all the items that we want to buy. And I'm going to get this shelf because I really want this shelf. Dear, did you already put that in the basket? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting everything so I can do a little, yeah, I'll do a little haul when I get back home. Okay, so we've been through the warehouse bit and picked up everything that we want to get. So we're just gonna wait in the queue and then I'm gonna go and pay and then I will update you when I'm home and show you what I got. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and pay and then I'll update you when I get back. This is my interesting bin stuff. I got some cinnamon wood, two towels, <laughs> say thank you. I'm not going to show you mine now because you all have to wait till I get home and I'll show you properly. But we'll, we'll, uh, Jay won't show us her. <laughs> oh, the ball! <laughs> See you when I get home, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, just got back from IKEA and got changed into something a little bit more comfortable. IKEA is literally just an experience in itself. Like, if you have the chance to go to IKEA, even if you've got no money, then go because it's unreal. So, I'm going to show you through everything I got now. So, the first thing I picked up is this shelf. I'm going to get it out of the packaging because. There's no point showing you something in a wrapper where you can't really see it. I didn't really see that many shelves when we were going through Ikea, especially ones for like bedroom. I saw a few for like kitchens and um, bathrooms, but I didn't really see that many for actual bedrooms apart from this one. This is exactly what I wanted and it's just this small, uh, um, almost cage styled shelf. Obviously it's got these two little side pieces that just make it look a little bit more funky. It's a bit like a Z shape. And I just think for the plants I got, so perfect to put the plants on. Also, I can hang any necklaces that I've got off this part. Or yeah, it'll just it'll just sit really nice on my wall, maybe behind me here, or over to that side, or over to that side. I don't know yet. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but we'll do that later. I don't wanna sit and ramble on about everything I got because I am gonna show you me actually storing all of these things and putting them up into my room and decorating my room with them. So this video might be about 40 minutes long, but you know what? I'm gonna put some chill music behind it. You don't have to watch it all. I'm gonna watch it all and I'm just gonna vibe with myself because we're in quarantine. I've literally been around myself for the past three months. I'm gonna vibe with myself. Sorry, I forgot to mention that the shelf was eight pound. It was meant to be 10, but it actually got reduced to eight, which is obviously a bonus. But I think eight pound for a shelf, like, you can't really go wrong. So the next thing that I got is this little sleek white um, storage box. It's got a little plastic lid on it. This was only about four pound, I think, three or four pound. And I just thought I always end up needing boxes and this would be perfect for maybe even um, like jewelry or different belts that I have, or even just like little bits and bobs that I have in my drawers that I don't know, that I wanna hide basically. So yeah, three pound, can't go wrong. The next thing that I got is so simple, I don't really know why I'm showing this, but it's just this like really nice size mug. Obviously, it's literally just a white mug, but the thing that sold this to me was the size. It's such a nice shape and size, and I just think, yeah, I can sit and have a little tea out of this later and edit this video. The next thing I got that also goes with the mug are these like cork mug coasters. So cute, they're, they're kind of curved, so like your mug sits in it. I just think when I always have a cup of tea, I always put it on my desk and I end up leaving like tea stains on it and having to wipe it off. So I just think this is a perfect way to stop that. The mug and these literally came at like £2.50 for both. So you really can't go wrong for £2.50. You've got some coasters to keep your desk nice and clean. 
The next two things that I got are both the same. They're just these um, cube boxes. I won't show you them now. I'll show you them when I actually start to put stuff in them later on. But yeah, they're just like um, 30 by 30 by 25 centimeter boxes. Just some fabric ones to chuck things in. I've got some shelves up here, which I'll show you later where I think these would sit perfectly on. So yeah, these were about £2 each, £2.50 each. So definitely less than a it was either a fiver or less than a fiver for both of them so you really can't go wrong for two storage boxes this one's going to be confusing to some of you watching probably but i got this like big plastic um desk topper so basically i do a lot of diys i love to paint clothes i love to paint shoes i also love to cut things up and use like exacto knives so i just think that this little plastic desk desktop, I mean, it is, it's quite thick, you won't be able to see, it was like three pound. I just think that this is such a good thing to like pull out and put on my desk whenever I'm doing something crafty. And it just means that I won't get any mess or scrape my desk in any way. Also, I do a lot of work on the floor if I need a bit of extra room. So I can just quickly pop this on my desk or on the floor if I need to get a little bit of protection when I'm doing some messy tasks yeah i'm just going to show you this one now because it's really boring it's literally a face a face flannel i'm sick of drying my face with the same towel i use my body i don't know why i know like obviously a clean towel a clean body like it's fine but i just get a little bit ocd i i'd prefer to like keep a face towel just for my face and then have a towel for my body this was 75 pence so perfect i got this gorgeous cute little plant it's actually a real plant it's not artificial so cute it was meant to be two pounds and it was down to 75 pence i think it was because it's quite an old one i think it might be on its last legs about to die but i've just gave it a little water and i'm gonna keep care of it and hope that i can let it survive for as long as it should because it's so cute and i love plants it smells really nice as well it smells a bit like the beach i don't know why maybe it's like got aloe i think it might be aloe vera you know i think it's an aloe vera plant there's a bit of it like ripped off here where it would say wouldn't it i don't know it doesn't say what type of plant it is but i think it might be a little mini aloe vera one the next thing that i got is also a plant obviously i've got the shelf that i showed you first this was this would be perfect to put on my shelf um just like a plastic artificial one but it doesn't look too fake i mean obviously people know these type of plants people will probably know that this is fake off looking at it first time but i don't really care it still gives off a nice decoration and a nice natural scenic vibe so yeah it came with it came separate this was um four pound maybe the, for the actual plant and then the plant pot was two pound so six pound for this you could say that it's um expensive but six pound for a plant that's never gonna die i don't really think i can argue with that another thing basically the same with that one i got this gorgeous long ivory styled hanging plant it's absolutely beautiful i love the color of it there was like a really dark green one and then this like gorgeous washed out uh, sage green type color i just think for the money it cost it was like seven pound for the plant and i just think you're getting plenty of like plant here you're not just getting a little thing like the other one uh, yeah, I just think for £7, it'll last forever. Okay, so I'm getting on to the last couple of things now. I've got this gorgeous little lamp stand. It was such a cute lamp. I saw all of the ones that they had on display and they were really nice, but I just wanted a really little one. Just one that would sit nicely on the corner of my desk and not take up too much space. I won't show you it now because I know it'll be all wrapped up in like polystyrene and plastic, but you'll see it later on when I actually get it out and set it up. Yeah, I just got this gorgeous like fi filament bulb it was. Um, this was the same one that was on display with it. They had a variety of probably about 10 different types of filament bulbs you could put in it, but this one was like a perfect size for the lamp stand that was on display so yeah it's gonna look so cute on my little desk so the last thing is this little set of three miniature plants i don't know how well you can see because the light is reflecting off the plastic but yeah just these little three plastic plants they were four pound for three which is obviously really good it's just a, just over a pound for each one i don't really think you can complain about that but yeah they don't look realistic obviously they're literally just cheap little plastic things but i do think that will give a nice little bit of detail in some corners of my room where i don't have many decorations in so yeah that is everything that i got from ikea i hope you like my little haul obviously i didn't get too much because i will be moving to uni again in the next few months and i will definitely do more ikea hauls then because uni ikea hauls hit different they hit different like 
going to uni and being able to do your own IKEA haul for your own uh, like own apartment it just hits different I love it so you'll definitely see more of these style videos towards September time so yeah I'll update you when I start to put all of this properly into my room bye everyone say hello to my little cat she's called Tilly she's so cute but I think I'm going to start with the storage boxes now and just start organising my room a little bit and then we can obviously add all of these little accents later on once I feel like it's more organised and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to grab these two storage boxes here and assemble them and I'm going to see where I'm going to put them. Okay, so these storage boxes were actually so easy to assemble. I literally didn't have to do anything, but I really like them. I think they're such a perfect size to fit in these shelves here. At the bottom one here is the most messy. I'm obviously doing fashion at uni. So this is just like loads of fabric scraps. And then these are like sketchbooks and pattern cutting books. This one's just like bags that I have that I'm going to keep like that. I'm just going to organize a bit better. This is just some more general accessories and also a few little crafty things. This is like a mixture of like candles, henna, like ornaments, pictures, lip balm, skincare. Like that's just a whole jumble of mess that I can sort out. And then these are obviously face masks and bandanas hanging. So I think I'm just going to leave that how it is. And then the top I think is fine apart from these books and the Amazon box. I just think they make it look a little bit more messy. But I think the shoe box and the two pairs of shoes are fine for up there. I'm not really too bothered about that. But yeah, I'm just gonna put these two boxes in some of these and then I'll update you with what I've done. Okay guys, so these are the two storage boxes that I've organized. This one is a little bit jumbled up because I just threw quite a few different types of things in that relate to fashion and my uni course. My clothing patterns off when I make my clothes, that'll be perfect to keep in there and just store them out of the way because it's all of these little things that aren't actually big items, but when you put them together somewhere, they just look so messy. So since they're in this box now, I think they're gonna look a lot neater in my bedroom. And then this box is just pretty self-explanatory. It's just loads of scrap pieces of material that I don't wanna throw away because I know I will probably be able to recycle them and use them for something else. So I just think that this is a perfect little scrap bin to keep adding to as I go along. Okay, so I'm now gonna go onto this little storage box here. Obviously, I don't need to assemble anything, so I'm just gonna straight away start putting stuff in. I think I'm just gonna put a mix of different things in here, like uh, skincare, sunglasses, uh, I've got a couple of headbands, earrings, just everything in here that I don't want to look too messy and I wanna keep safe. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do that now. So I decided to turn this drawer into a little skincare drawer as before it was literally just cluttered of different little things. So I've got my everyday skincare, some face masks, uh, body scrub, face peels and some moisturisers and then this is just a little face set with a face roller and a face mask brush in it. So yeah, that is so much more organised and this bit is a little bit less uh, populated with loads of different products now. So I'm going to carry on sorting these few drawers out and then I'll update you again. Alright, so you can't really do much with these drawers. I mean, they've got so many different things in. So I've kind of just organised it and made it look a little bit neater. And it just means that when I reach for stuff in there every day, it's just a little bit easier to grab it. And the bottom shelf is literally just loads of books and a little sewing, sewing kit. So I'm not too bothered about that looking messy. I can't really organise it any different and I can't really be bothered to organise it any different. So yeah, these three shelves are fine how they are. 
Okay, so I'm definitely aware that you guys at home will not be able to see any difference, but I've sorted out all of the drawers down here. Obviously, I've got two of my storage boxes down at the bottom there, which actually help to make it look so much nicer and so much neater. And then I've just organized my bags, organized my accessories. I've changed, instead of having both of the hanging pegs on that side, I've put my face masks and bandana on that side, and then my necklaces on this side. Still looks quite messy, but I just thought, it was better to separate them instead of having them jumbled together. And then the top shelf, I got rid of the awful uh, cardboard and just made the shoes look a bit neater, to be honest. I didn't really do much on this side. I've got that cute little box there with some sunglasses on, and then obviously I showed you what was inside. So yeah, just little touches that have helped organize it a bit better and make it look overall a lot neater. I've obviously got this desk topper, but I won't be using that tonight. So I think I'm just going to keep it... Wait, I'll put it up properly. I think I'm just going to keep it down the side of my desk there and you can't even see it. And then I can literally, when I'm sat at my desk, I can just slide my hand down and whip it out whenever I need it. So yeah, that's perfect. In terms of the other little bits that I bought from Ikea, I'm just going to leave these here for now. And then once I've got my shelf up, I can then further decide where I'm going to put all the plants, where I'm going to put my lamp. I think I'm going to have my lamp in the corner of my desk over there. So yeah, once that's done, I'll be able to come back and show you how I'm going to sort out these few things. And then I'll be able to finish off this video. <laughs> Okay everyone, so this is perfect. My stepdad just came and put my shelf up. Literally took five minutes, so it was super quick and super easy. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, look at these few little bits that I've got now and organize them and put them on my shelf. So I'll keep you updated when I've done that. Okay guys, so this is how I've decided to decorate the shelf. I absolutely love it. So I've just got the metal plant part with the artificial plant in on the left. And then I've got a cute little rose pink uh, salt lamp. And then I've got one of my favorite magazines at the moment, which is from the brand 80s. And then the other cute little plant that I got for 75 pence. And then a little Polaroid of me and my boyfriend. And then the last thing on the right there is just the hanging artificial plant also from Ikea so I absolutely love this I don't know I just think it adds just a cute little decoration to my room I know it's just small but I feel like it looks so nice to have so much white space around it and then just like a little blob of detail in the middle of the room I love it I don't know what you think please let me know in the comments down below but yeah I've just got these two little things I don't think I'm actually going to put these plants on that shelf now I feel like it will just be way too overcrowded so I'm going to put my lamp up on my desk and then I'll see if I have any space to put any of these if not I might just put them in my bathroom or give them to my mom but yeah we'll just see Okay guys, this is the cute little lamp. I love it. Look how cute it is. The color of the bulb so nice as well. Like look at that. I love how like contemporary the stand looks. Yes, I decided to add one of the little plants that I was debating whether to add just in front of it there. I just think that you can't get enough plants. I've also removed the big plant that I had there, which was obviously my brother's. So obviously I was gonna take that down after I had filmed this video anyway. But I feel like with these in the corner of my desk now, I don't actually need that lamp. And yeah, so there's the little corner of my desk and there's the little shelf. I love them. I've also decided to pop a few pairs of my favorite sunglasses on the end of the shelf i think it's just such a unique and cute way to store sunglasses so i'm really sorry for how long i've been talking about this and how long i've been decorating my room i'm sure that this video as you're watching this will be very long by now but yeah we're gonna go and finish up the video and i'm gonna give you a little overview of my room as a whole
Okay guys, so that is the video complete. I'm so happy with how the outcome turned out. I don't know how well it's gonna translate on camera for you guys, but I'm absolutely obsessed with my little shelf here and my little lamp here is so cute. Literally exactly what I wanted for my bedroom. And obviously now I have a little bit more decoration in the background of filming. And yeah, I just think that my room's such more of a cosy vibe now and I can go to sleep tonight feeling super cosy and super surrounded by nature even though they're all artificial anyway. All the plants are artificial but it's still nature, it still looks like nature. So if it looks like nature, then I'll buy it. And I've also got, wait, let me get it. Also got my cute little cup of tea in here. I can't spill it but I want to show you that it's actually got a tea in. So yeah, I got my cute little mug and my cute little mug coaster. I'm going to sip and drink this cup of tea when I edit this video right now. So yeah, it's only about half seven now, but it's a bit dull outside. So I've had to put some lighting up to film the outro of this video. But yeah, it's only half seven and I've had such a productive and busy day. I got to see my friends. I got to buy new things for my room. I got to sort my room out. You know, when you sort your room out, you always feel so much more productive. And so your mind just feels clear and it's so nice. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I know for a fact that as you're watching this part right now, if you've got this far, that this is a long video. The intro was 10 minutes when I was editing it. This is a very, very long video. So if you got this far, thank you. Thank you so much. I probably won't even get this far when I watch it back after editing because I'll probably be asleep because my plants are so, so cozy. But yeah, yay. Cute, cute, cute. I'm so happy. So if you enjoyed this video and you are as happy as me right now, please give this a big thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see in the future. Obviously, I'm hoping to go back to fashion uni in September or it could be a bit later because of COVID. It could be maybe October or even next year after Christmas. So if um, I am going back in a few months time, I will have the opportunity, opportunity to do so much more uh, IKEA hauls and so many more just in general, like moving into uni halls, moving into an apartment, wherever I end up, I'll be able to vlog me sorting that apartment out, sorting out my bedroom, sorting out Ikea halls, and yeah, it's just gonna be so fun. So please subscribe and stay tuned for that. I think that it's just gonna be a fun time from now. I've done my first vlog, I've done my first Ikea type haul, and I just think now I'm motivated. That video that I did last week that I mentioned at the start of the video that went out the window, I'm forgetting about that now. This video has been so fun and I'm motivated, so please stay alert for more videos because more videos coming soon, 100%. So yeah, I'm going to link my Instagram and TikTok on screen now and I'll also leave them in the description bar down below. So if you want to see a bit more of me apart from YouTube videos, then go and follow and subscribe to those as well so yeah that's enough from me and i hope you enjoyed this video bye <sighs> i felt oh my god i feel like graveyard girl <sighs> some beverage that you like so that you could sippy sippy with me sippy sippy <sighs> <sighs> on that note i love you graveyard girl bye <laughs>